Hey, excuse me, guys. You guys want to see what we're handing out to the kids? Thank you. you don't? Sure. Would you like it? Alright. Would you like to see what we're handing out to the kids? I've already read it. Thank you. Did you? What did you think of it? I, I just, I don't think it's appropriate. I think you guys should be downtown at 2 o'clock in the morning after the bar crowd gets out. Bar crowd? Yeah. They're the ones having abortions? Well, they're the ones that could use education. <laughs> so you don't think that number one cause of death in texas is abortion and these girls one out of three of these girls will have an abortion in their Do lifetime you know that the maternal, uh, the maternal mortality rate in texas doubled because uh, all of these clinics were closed down twice as many women have died in the past year from being pregnant in delivery because they weren't able to get to a clinic to have prenatal care how, how many women i don't know like 40 and twice twice as many yeah, it was you know, 60,000 abortions happen every year in Texas. But these are people who have already had children at home, who already were here and trying to do the best they could for their family. Yeah, but 60,000 abortions here in Texas. You know, I'm sorry, but I just don't agree with what you're saying. Are you a Christian? I don't think that's, that's relevant at this point. Isn't being a Christian relevant more than anything else? It's relevant to you. But, okay. I understand. I'm, if you think you have to be a Christian to have morals, then you're wrong. Yeah. There's there's no. there's lots of other religions that teach morals. There's atheists who have morals. Yeah. Just because you, you you claim that you're a Christian and you claim that you that you that you preach the word of, of Jesus Christ, does it make you moral? Does it and it doesn't make you right? So the the Christianity thing has absolutely no bearing on on your on the the, the hatred that you're feeling. Well, you can be you can be a, a non-believer and have character, like not lie, not steal, not hurt okay, people. You know, you know I agree. Here, here's my biggest point: is I would really appreciate that people would spend their time trying to prevent unwanted pregnancy. Isn't that what you want? You want to prevent an unwanted pregnancy. Yeah, I want to be a voice for the sixty thousand babies yeah. that were murdered. Okay. But if, if there Let's weren't any unwanted pregnancies, there wouldn't be any abortions. Let's talk All right, let's talk about them. How many kids have you adopted? Well, there, there's in Texas, there's thirteen thousand kids in foster care waiting to be adopted. Hey, and my brother and Six. Hey, my brother and Six. sister-in-law have had a hundred foster children, and mm -hmm. the idea that you have this perfect what, child what that comes into the world. You have a pissing contest with. with yeah. well, I'm answering her question. Yeah. I'm just answering your question. We're just you're saying it's happy groundhog day. Adopt, and what you're doing yeah. is a that, that is, These images are not Yeah, but you said you said let's talk about the kids that are here in Texas. In Texas, there's 13,000 kids waiting to be adopted, and nobody's adopting them. Right, and you know what? And I'm saying that my brother and sister-in-law have had 100 foster kids, and a lot right. of them don't go. They they age into the foster system. Right, it's horrible. Right, it People is horrible. should be adopting them. But you shouldn't but, be forcing this on children yeah. in schools. Yeah. Like yeah. Your children. I think he's that's, just, that, that's just immoral. Trying, what you're doing. He's yeah. trying to cause a fight. He's trying to. I'm fight. not he's trying to cause a fight. I'm just. Are these kids going to adopt kids out of foster care or high school? They will when they grow up. They should. I'm not trying to cause a fight. I'm being calm and gentle and just talking with you. Christians are pro-life, but what you're doing is is wrong. Because you shouldn't be teaching my children morality. It's not up to you. That's it's up right. to me. I'm a father. I'm a Christian. I'm pro-life, and I'm a veteran. And if you come near my children with that information, I'm going to react in kind. You know what I mean? If anybody accosted your children, we're not accosting anybody. We're not going up to them. We're standing there. You're hanging out like a pedophile outside of a school with signs of dead babies. Mate. You need to get some perspective. That's how that's how pedophiles do it. Coming from, but what you're doing. It's just wrong. It's What's the wrong way about it, and you're getting the message across the wrong What's way. What's the right way then? To prevent unwanted it's not, you, it's not your job to educate these children. So if we live in a society where the number one cause of death is child sacrifice, is killing children, you, you don't think the men should speak out against that and try to stop it? I think within your family, within the community, and with your church, yes sir, I think you're absolutely right. But outside the school where you have and, business being, you mean only do it inside the church building, but not do it outside the church building? This is my community. This is what our kids can just be taking. You're welcome, man. You're welcome. Well, sir, please, will you just look at what we're... The way you go in the is extreme. Well, we pass out... I don't think Listen, it's all, it's all messaging. You're not going to get any... You're, it's, you're trying to win your point of view, and you're not going to win people with the, with the tactics that you use. We have we have our views too. Right. And we have we have we have I support you. Right. Thank you, sir. I support right. you. No, don't support him. Don't support him. Well, hey, I can still love him. <laughs> I love you too, man. Come on, man. <laughs> Disagreeing doesn't mean I don't. <laughs>
don't love him. That's right. I'm not saying not to love. <laughs> but we're gonna pass out. We have already passed out thousands of these. You have freedom to do that, mate. I just think right. you're in the wrong place. So why not look at the information we're handing out so you can combat oh, it at least? Okay. I'll look at it. Here, here's, can, I, can I help you really quick? Yeah. Thank you guys so much. The issue is not your message. The issue is the way you deliver the message. Right. So people don't have, like, I would absolutely agree that abortion's wrong. Right? But I also disagree with, like, shock value just trying to scare people into your beliefs. Right. Well, why not right. just well, show look, dude? Look what they did in Vietnam, in well, America and Vietnam. They showed, go. and also with civil rights, they show the images, right? Because hey. that's what's really happening. Hey. Yes. And but how is showing a 14-year-old an image of a dead baby ever going to help We things? get them come out and tell us we're not going to... I, I am pregnant and I'm not going to have an abortion now. They actually tell us so, that. Anyway, I don't want to argue with you. Well, I'm not you arguing. I just right? answered your question. So... I didn't argue you with you. You stand for your convictions and that's cool yeah. and all. But as a follower of Christ, it's not really the message that needs to be sent. Well, look, but I'll read through it. Or the, okay. He stood at my church one time, so that was fine. Which one? <laughs> Alright man, well thanks for you know being patient anyway. So do it a better way. Yeah. Alright. Well, thanks guys. Thanks ladies. And I am glad you're out here, so you know I'm not